know, everybody around Father's Day talks about how important dads are. But I think few appreciate the importance of a father as much as those who didn't have one. When I was five years old, my father died. Two days before Reagan's fifth birthday. And I grew up without a dad in my life. And I grew up going to church, and really the worst Sunday of the year was Father's Day. They would talk about how important it is to have a dad in the home and how valuable they are and that they're raising up the next generation. And they'd list off all of these amazing, wonderful things about dads, things that I didn't have. There we go. Say trick or treat. Trick or treat. Whoops. Growing up without a dad, you have to learn a lot of lessons the hard way. And there's a lot of just stupid, embarrassing things you do, things you don't understand about like sports or how to fix things or, you know, things that most people think that everybody knows. Without a dad, there's no one there to tell you about those things that you're supposed to know. You're left in this state of confusion a lot of times. You don't know the right way to behave or the, the right things to say. And it's hard. Reagan, what's the matter? But one of the most amazing things has been becoming a father myself. Here's Daddy getting Watson ready for his first bath. And specifically, my firstborn is, is a son. And having Watson and becoming a dad has been almost redemptive, if you can say that. Because it's it's taken this painful thing that even the subject, even when someone would say the word dad before, or talk about my dad or my father, they'd say those words, it would be painful for me. And the Lord has used this experience of having my own son and becoming a dad to transform the idea of fatherhood into one of the most amazing, exciting, things there is and Father's Day has become something I look forward to and I'm excited about. It's been totally transformed. And I feel that in having a son in some small way, it's like I've I've gotten back what was taken from me in not having a father. And, I, and I've gotten it back in that I'm able to give that to my son, to, to pinpoint those things that I missed out on and know what it was that, that was missing in my life and go above and beyond to make sure that this little boy gets that from his daddy. Son, by God's grace, I hope that I am there for you as you grow up, to be there to give you what I couldn't have, to tell you that I'm proud of you, to tell you that I love you, to teach you about life and how to be a man. Listen, if you're watching this video and you don't have a dad or you don't have a great dad or a relationship with him, if you know Christ, I want you to know this. And this is something that was told to me when I lost my dad. God is called a father to the fatherless and a defender of the widow. That's Psalm 68, 5. And even if your earthly father is lost to you or you're not close with him or that relationship is strained, you have a Father in heaven that loves you and cares for you. And in that, you should take comfort and draw courage. Happy Father's Day.